Hey guys, Amos here and today we're going to be talking about Origin Trail as usual. Today we're going to be talking about the food data marketplace. Now this is important for the future of technology of crypto in general as data marketplaces really will signify that the age of the internet of wealth of value is here when you're able to buy sell trade data monetize your own data without big entities like google and whatnot just uh you know take any for everything you're worth <laughs> so with that in mind let's discuss the food data marketplace the origin trail food data marketplace let's begin by reading this little snippet here in food supply chains data is connected at multiple points and it can provide in-depth insight into production answering questions like what were the production conditions and what were the temperature humidity and sunlight levels data gives the farmers who are at the beginning of supply chains the opportunity to stand out highlight their good practices like organic farming for example and get fairly compensated for their efforts however giving farmers the ability to monetize the value of their data and showcase the quality of their work has been challenging in the past with that in mind we created the food data market a decentralized marketplace that incentivizes data sharing with the goal of contributing to sustainable supply chains so as you can see this is very important this means that people can really i guess shine for the work that they're doing now below we have something that is very important for people to understand right the food data marketplace is an open source software infrastructure utilizing the origin trail protocol for trusted data exchange this infrastructure can be applied to data exchange in any industry not just food supply chain wait a minute wait wait a minute how wait first of all you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said in any industry not just food supply chains and once again we get back to the same point of having to teach people that origin trail is not an enclosed ecosystem it's not an enclosed platform it's really designed to grow and mature as technology itself advances all you do is basically hot swap the new components it's very plug and play okay so this means that origin trail is applicable to almost any industry across this globe but we're starting with food supply chain because this is what the team knows. They're great at it and they've already done so much work and we will be getting some exciting news coming forward. So now that you understand the general information about the food data marketplace, you pretty much know what it is, okay? But there's more to learn about where it came from. So the food data marketplace, um, this is enabled by one fundamental feature. Now, if you have been watching my channel before, you've known, you've seen it in Without the Hype, I discussed the importance of the privacy by design. What we're trying to do with Web 3.0 is rebuild the internet from the ground up with security and privacy in, in mind. Now, this itself is a core fundamental technology um, I guess perspective that is largely ignored by most blockchain projects today. The privacy by design methodology is literally innate to the origin trail decentralized network. We talked about this in the first without the hype episode, but now it's showing why it's so important that it, why do we even care that this platform is built with privacy first, privacy first. Okay. Now privacy by design enables quite a bit of functionality. This is enabled by a privacy by design approach that allows farmers and cooperatives to win back control over their data, give it fair price and sell it to supply chain partners that recognize its value. Now, if you know that I, as a, now the privacy by design follows seven, four, seven core foundational principles. Now, of course, this all is really um, in the origin trail documentation. So feel free to check it out. But as a result of obeying these several fund foundational principles, it allows um, things like data, data marketplaces and SSI to really reign within the origin trail ecosystem. This is what makes it so 
powerful. An understanding of where technology came from and what we can do to make it better. The Origin Trio team understood that completely and built everything from the ground up exactly as needed. So this is pretty, pretty amazing. So let's dive back into how the FDM, the food data marketplace, I'm going to say FDM um, moving forward, how it came to be. Now, this is a pilot project on Ledger, right? Now, people don't know what exactly Ledger is. You're thinking that Ledger thing that stores your crypto. No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about an actually massive um, EU funded branch and that focuses on one thing ledger is an eu funded project that empowers people to solve problems using decentralized technologies such as blockchain peer-to-peer -peer, and distributed ledger technologies we are looking for 32 projects to build mvps where privacy by design here we go again with it privacy by design openness and citizen data sovereignty are at the core of their proposition so again because of the p by d method methods they are allowed these access to these great consortias and projects and um well and here's an example of one entity um, i'm gonna fail this name but they've installed something called kakaxi devices iot devices in their supply chain which feeds data into the fdm which they can then sell but here's how they're also using it to for traceability purposes so check this out this is act an actual working demo um between origin trail and uh this entity and they're using the origin trail ecosystem to perform traceability on uh, their premium line of chicken which is basically their organic and natural farming um line of chicken So you can see how Origin Trail is also helping with the supply chain industry. But let's talk about how this company is working with Kakaxi devices. But in, of course, in order for you to understand what they are doing together, you need to understand what is Kakaxi. Now, forgive me if I'm saying this name wrong, but uh, this is a very, 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 very innovative partnership that um, that I feel is largely um ignored this is so big for kakaxi they they create these iot devices which you install in your supply chain and it constantly feeds data you can watch this kakaxi video right here actually it does a great job at explaining what this company does and it really helps you to understand where we're going with this kakasi is an ai powered platform to easily collect and analyze remote images and ambient data we designed the Kakasi camera device to capture the natural world and utilize data from remote environments. With zero maintenance and easy installation, the Kakasi device can upload images and climate conditions, such as temperature, humidity, and solar radiation to the cloud from virtually any location. From the outback of Australia to the mountains of Colombia, Kakasi is the world's only camera with climate sensors that is fully solar powered and connected by 3G in over 130 countries. Kakasi's applications are limitless and we're working with partners around the world to explore possibilities. For example, AI can analyze images in vineyards and send notifications when the grapes turn red. AI can also measure the height of plants and can detect the bird activity in remote open air storage facilities. As a tool to provide continuous assurance, Kakasi helps food suppliers answer consumer demand for more transparency. By combining IoT and blockchain technology, Kakasi represents a standard for traceability in the supply chain. 
name is Adam Smith and I'm co-founder of Kakashi. Kakashi is the most adaptable IoT device and AI platform designed to analyze and understand the natural world around us. We are happy to apply our technology to your business and I invite you to join us. Now, this is how Origin Trail and Kakashi pretty much got involved and got the ball rolling um, as opposed to branching into the US market. It's as a result of NGI Atlantic, which is another EU initiative around creating the next generation internet. Here we can see that Kakaxi and Trace Labs, they're kind of combining their power to, you know, have these Kakaxi devices produce this IoT data and store it on the Origin Trail Decentralized Network which you can then query for, you know, more information about where part the product life cycle. Now, of course, we were about to talk about um, the standards supported by um, Origin Trail in the next Without the Hype video, but the IoT Web of Things is a part of the data sets that they can hold. So now let's take a look at exactly how the food data marketplace operates. Hi everyone and welcome to the Food Data Marketplace Decentralized Application. Today I'm going to show you quickly how it works. So this is a, an application that is hosted on my uh, own machine. It's an open source app and it connects directly to the origin trail node that I'm running and I will be purchasing a data set today through it. So in order to log in first, I need to provide the credentials to my node and its uh, corresponding ERC-725 Ethereum identity. And once I log in and accept the terms and conditions, I'm actually taken to the data marketplace index, which allows me to pick a specific data marketplace. And currently the full data marketplace is ongoing, but there's other coming up, as well as that I can actually start uh, with um, the initial instructions here. But let me show you immediately how it looks. So if I explore the food data marketplace, what I'm actually going to see is the data sets that are available over the decentralized network. So keep in mind, there is no one single place where all these data sets are held. Rather, they are bought directly from the companies or individuals that host them on their own nodes. So what can we find here? Well, there's quite a lot of data, halal certification information, uh, IoT data from farms, specifically Kakaxi devices. And most uh, of, of the data actually comes from Perutnina Ptui, one of our partners who has been uh, collecting GP, uh, GS1 EPCIS structured data. And I'm actually going to look for a specific set of production data from the 20th of February. And I actually can find one of those data sets. So let's see, uh, if I open uh, this uh, prompt to see the actual data set information, I see that uh, it's a GS1 EPCS structured linked data data set, and it costs 320 trace. I can also verify its integrity on the Origin Trail Decentralized Network even before I buy it. And I see that it has been purchased by the decentralized identity of the actual node of Perotnin Aptu. So actually let's start the, 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 the purchasing process because it lasts a minute or so. And once I start it, uh, actually, the process is ongoing. So now that you've seen the food data marketplace, you know how that works, you know how it looks. Let's continue to talk about Origin Trail and the food data marketplace as a part of the Ledger program. Now, of course, Origin Trail won the Walmart, um, Walmart Food Safety Spark Award. Um, this is back in 2017. So Origin Trail was already doing some pretty big things prior to what we know of today. And even within the Ledger program, let's check this part out right here. It says from almost 300 applicants, only 16 were selected for funding. And so Trace Labs became one of the top 5% teams. We successfully managed all of the stages of the program. And I, of course, went to check that out. And as you can see on this list, we see our beloved food data marketplace coming in right at number seven it is among the top projects from the ledger program so let's take a look at the food data marketplace architecture that's within obviously this article right here as you can see the food data marketplace over here these data are not even necessarily the food data marketplace any data marketplace as we do have the laboratory data marketplace 
is on is like an application on top of the origin trail network which is of course on top of ethereum which is solidif which is there basically for the immutability of data you know acundies dids so on and so forth uh this the the food data marketplace is just one application uh, of a marketplace so we can have any kind of marketplace on top of the origin trade ecosystem the, the sky is the limit for this technology this is why origin trade is so adaptable and will be so successful moving into the future now so why are we excited about, about this well it comes to find out that well let's fast forward a little bit into the future and up to today um, and today we can see that the food data marketplace is seeing adoption that is beyond the scope of what anything anyone could have really thought. Um, and at uh, as we, we already explained what Kakaxi is, and as you can see, I have this segment here to discuss. Uh, Trace Labs and Kakaxi are also proud to announce that their joint solution has been supported by the NG Atlantic Initiative, which is funded by the European Commission, whose main goal uh, for NG Atlantic project is to bridge EU US research on the next generation internet. Trace Labs and Kakaxi are planning to kick off the NG Atlantic project on the 1st of December. That's about 10 days away, 11 days away. In the following six months of this project, execution we will see at least three supply chains globally globally benefiting from the implementation of kakaxi devices on the field and the data being monetized and of course the first product we see benefiting from this is the very same project that is collaborating with origin tree and bsi it is actually monastoverin forgive me if i got that name wrong but this distillery is working with bsi they're working with origin tree to address these issues of traceability trust and transparency and as it says right here it says bsi and trace labs have developed an an end-to-end -end customer trust solution for Monastaveran to provide transparency and confidence in its whiskey and customer globally. The solution integrates certification, which includes both third-party assessments and product testing with blockchain technology, similar to how we've seen in the last video with Origin Trail with um, the Oracle Automated Payment Solution, which used the verifiable credentials to issue payments. Um, people are using these credentials for other things than issuing payments. They're using it to verify that a product is good. You know that to verify that a product is um, following the right path in the supply chain and so on and so forth. So, this is just really exciting, really big news coming out for Origin Trail and uh we're seeing that the, these date decentralized data marketplaces are being adopted at very high levels of eu and now not just the eu this is a collaboration between eu and us this is how uh intergovernment relationships become stronger when you build technologies that both countries depend on that is unbiased that is relevant and strong so i'm very excited to see what this does for the future of not just technology but mankind uh inter-government relationships so we'll see congratulations to the team and everyone that's sticking around to see the journey of origin tree i'm very excited to see what's coming once again have a good time guys i know you thought you bought bj nah, this is origin trip come on i know you